Welcome to Samplitude, the digital audio workstation for professional music production. This video outlines the main steps to help you get started. The startup screen will load after the program is launched. Open a project file to the right of the start dialog or an audio file. On the left, you can create new projects. To get an initial impression of the Samplitude workflow, load a demo song. Audio files are arranged on various tracks in the demo song and combined with the VSTi synthesizers. The creative core in Samplitude is the arranger, which contains various tracks. You can arrange and edit your audio or MIDI files here. Differently colored track curves are visible on some tracks. These curves can be used to make adjustments in volume or effect sequences. If you're working with a lot of tracks and longer projects, we recommend enlarging the view and zooming into the arranger. Directly edit using the objects and with a wide range of professional editors and managers that you can access via the view menu. For instance, the transport console. Use the transport console to conduct your own recordings or play the project. You can also start and stop playback using the space bar. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. The transport console is already built into the program interface, but you can also undock it and reposition it freely. Open the object editor by double clicking on an object. It also appears below in the program interface and can be freely positioned, like the transport console. The object editor offers individual editing functions for each object. For instance, effect plugins, a four band parametric equalizer, fade in or fade out, and time stretching or pitch shifting. Samplitude is renowned for its object-based operation. You can cut any audio file into a number of objects by selecting the file, moving the playback marker to the cut position, and pressing the T key on the keyboard. This creates two independent objects that can be moved freely and can be edited using separate object editor settings. The range on the left next to the tracks also enables track-based operation. Any adjustments made here will simultaneously affect all objects in the track. In the track header, you can set the track to mute or listen to it separately in solo mode. For track-based work, activate the track editor. The track editor is then inserted far left in the program interface. This offers a large volume fader, a knob controller for stereo panorama, and lots of other categories. For instance, for track effects. The plugin browser offers bundled access to all effects and also to the instrument plugins, which are controlled by the track. Any change you make here will affect all of the objects in the track. Samplitude contains a complex mixer interface for mixing the overall sound. This process is referred to as mixing. In principle, the mixer functions in the same way as a professional studio mixing console, but includes many additional options. Here you can view your tracks as individual channel strips again. In the channel strips, you can also access the track effects that you've already seen in the track editor. In the mixer, you can combine several tracks into subgroups and set up complex routing arrangements. On the right, in the master section, the mixer offers additional editing options for the overall mix. If you right-click on a control element in a track, in most places, a context menu editor will open, with which you can define more precise settings. For instance, the master equalizer.
To create a new project in Samplitude, in the File menu, select New Virtual Project. Give your project a name, select how many tracks you need, and click OK. A new empty project will be created. To adjust your audio system, open the System Settings. Use the Y key to do this. Select your sound card's ASIO driver as a driver system where possible. The Magic's low latency driver is also a good alternative. Your MIDI keyboard should be selected in the MIDI tab. Check the other settings if necessary, and then close the dialog again. Load your audio files via the File menu. First, select the track to which you want to import the material. You can simply click the W key to select WAV files. In this dialog, you can have access to audio files in all supported formats. Hold down the Control key to select several and load them simultaneously. In the following dialog, you can determine the sequence for loading the files. As well as audio files, you can use MIDI files and use them to control the VST instruments included in the program. To do so, first select a track for controlling the VSTi. You can load the VST instrument to the track header via the plug-in slot. If you have a keyboard connected to your PC, you can now play the VSTi and adjust it. You can also record the VST instrument via MIDI recording. First, activate the red record button on the VSTi track. Then, start the recording by clicking the red record button in the transport console. You can also activate a metronome if you need a click. Alternatively, you can conduct an audio recording. You can simultaneously record as many microphones as the number of inputs on your audio interface. To start, adjust the audio inputs that will be recorded by the tracks. Right-click on the Record button on the track header and select the input. Then, activate the track for recording. Audio recording is also started by clicking the red Record button in the Transport console. Once your project is finished, you can burn an audio CD or DVD in the CD-DVD menu, or export your project in different formats in the File menu. That's the end of our introductory video for Samplitude. We have only outlined the essential steps for the first-time users. There is a whole range of further options for editing and arranging audio and MIDI data waiting to be explored. We hope you enjoy using your new software.